So here we go. So we're coming downstairs into a kind of a family room kind of an area here. Give you a shot at the ceilings. Yeah, there's no coving or finish treatment on these ceilings, but it's still nice work. And you can see this room steps right out to the pool. So we'll get out here in a moment. So at the bottom of the stairs, if we turn left, we come into the first of the downstairs bedrooms. The closet area is very interesting. Double doors that open into actually a large dressing area and these mirrored closets that I'm trying to avoid. These appear to be large, well-built closets. Interesting layout. Then back through the bedroom, we get into a private bath, and this bath opens out to the pool. Uh, this has tile with some cute little fishes. Same kind of seashell textured sink. More use of the glass block and then the blue and white kind of marine looking uh, tile. And then, of course, this opens out to the pool. So headed back across the family room, we're going to go down a little hallway to the other bedrooms, which I'll explain momentarily. And off the hallway, there's a little storage closet here. And this seems to be the area where your hot water heater is. Looks like solar. You can hear the air conditioning running, and then you've got this other little unfinished space in here. I don't know, maybe your wine cellar. Then we enter into this place that's kind of separated. It's got like a work area here. Some closets. And then here is a large bathroom. Hope you like red. Uh, the second bedroom and a third bedroom has been converted into a theater room. Now in this bedroom, they've made a cove in the ceiling so that you've got a lot of room for a higher placed fan so it doesn't scare tall people. The room has a nice large walk-in closet. Get a nice view out to the garden area and a nice view out to the pool. But it does not have a sliding door that goes out to the pool. So going back out, I'll give you a little close-up of the tile in here. This is some kind of a stone tile. And the bathroom is very nice. Again, especially if you like uh, red. It's got a double shower. I guess since there are two bedrooms, you needed to have two showers. Yet, it only has seating for one. Now we're going to go to the third and final bedroom, which is no longer a bedroom. This has been converted to the movie room. Now we're going to have to put up with the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean in the background. Hope Disney doesn't try to get me for a lack of authorization to rebroadcast this. You've got nice seating for four. They've added some stars to the ceiling, just like you're at the drive-in. And as you can see, Johnny Depp is taking some abuse there in the foreground. So, very nice little room. Now we're going to step out to the pool. So you can see it's a very nice garden area here. It's very well maintained. You get this nice tiled lanai as you step out. That continues on down to the pool. You can get a look at those tiles. You have the hot tub that spills out into the rest of the pool area.
And if you're standing here, you can still see the outer islands in the pool. But people can't see in. Take a shot at the roof line. This copper railing is getting a nice patina on it. So from 247 Ulakoa, this is Lahaina Lee saying aloha.